Law Warrior Aerotech, Black Lion Class Battleship. Specifications Mass 802,000 tons, Crew 208, KF Drive System KF King 9, Interplanetary Engines 3 Carsten Pegasus, Hull Exosteel C180, Length 772 meters, Sail span 1,433 meters. Dropship capacity 4. Aerospace fighter capacity 18. Small craft complement 10. Armor Grumman 900. Armament 18 Scarborough series naval autocannon. 8 White Shark missile tubes. 6 Barracuda missile tubes. 32 Imperator 20 series naval autocannon. Manufacturer Boeing Interstellar. Communication system Needham Aerostar. Targeting and tracking system, Needham Omnid System 4. Overview When it became apparent that the Cameron battlecruisers were not living up to their design specifications, the Quartermaster Command decided to test a new design rather than pour trillions of Star League dollars into redesigning and refitting existing Camerons. The Camerons remained in service, though in a much more limited role. This time, the Admirals of Warship Subcommand bypassed the usual procedure of accepting design proposals from all the major shipyards, awarding the contract to Boeing Interstellar in late 2689. This award carried the proviso that the company would make several key modifications to a battlecruiser design it had submitted during the contract competition that led to the creation of the Cameron. Boeing Interstellar produced an excellent design, named the Black Lion for former Director General James McKenna's famous battlecruiser. Boeing built two per year for the next 31 years. Capabilities The Black Lion's three Carsten Pegasus interplanetary engines generate almost twice as much thrust as those used on the Cameron class. With less weight than the Cameron, the Black Lion became one of the quickest warships of its size. The engine size and complexity, however, make the engineering decks a labyrinth of tight crawl spaces and catwalks. Maintenance difficulties make engine breakdowns more frequent than normal for a more modern battleship. The Black Lion's second important improvement over the Cameron is increased armour protection. The most controversial aspect of the Black Lion is its choice of weapons. Instead of relying on energy weapons, the Black Lion mounts cannon and missiles as its primary weapons. Four turrets carrying 30 series autocannon and two turrets capable of firing White Shark missiles. The battlecruiser also carries four turrets of smaller autocannon and six tubes firing the Barracuda missiles. The designers used only non-energy weapons so the ship could mount a smaller and lighter power system. The main drawback of this choice of weapons is that the ship must devote interior space to carrying ammunition. The ship's flight deck can carry 18 heavy aerospace fighters and its four docking rings can handle the largest dropships. A Black Lion often heads a battle group protecting a convoy. When meeting enemy ships, the Black Lion uses its superior speed to lead a group of destroyers toward the enemy. If that is not enough to chase the enemy away, the battlecruiser can deliver enough damage to weaken the enemy's attack. The Black Lions live up to the most of the Admiral expectations. They are as elusive as hoped, and in the periphery, the battlecruisers can easily dominate a battle. In the hidden wars against the House militaries, however, Black Lions cannot cope with swarms of enemy fighters.